Hey everybody, gonna do a short video on how to remove a dual mass flywheel on an 07 59 Cummins. This is the six speed, has a G56 transmission and uh, the wonderful fantastic design of a dual mass flywheel. Uh, the reason I'm doing this right now, you can tell how well that's put together. You can hear that rattling around. I was expecting eight bolts around here that I could just pull out flywheel be off uh, just like your typical flywheel uh, not the case on this I couldn't find a video on how to do it uh, I had to read do a lot of reading to figure it out myself so I thought I'd do a short video maybe help somebody else out the pressure plate clutch disc already out transmission too so the way that you actually get the dual mass flywheel off comes down to this little dude. This dude here, two, I think these are 10 millimeter bolts, two bolts. And if you are laying on your back underneath this, opposite of the starter on the passenger side, that's where that plate goes. This hole right here would be used for uh, like a barring tool if you were going to spin your engine. Through this hole right here, it is big enough for you to blindly remove eight bolts that hold this dual mass flywheel on. They have a 15 millimeter head on them. Pretty short little guy. A little bit more of a pain in the rear than what you want. Uh, it's great if you have a barring tool. I do not have a barring tool. I am using a screwdriver on a uh, the bolts that came out of this uh, bell housing. Put some duct tape around it to save the threads, and I am spinning my engine in that manner. Not the greatest thing in the world, but it works. You spin the flywheel, you keep the other hand up here, and you reach and you feel when a bolt head becomes accessible. When it becomes accessible, you pull it out, move on to the next one. Just whenever you get to that seventh bolt, you gotta remember, this is, I'd assume, probably 80 pounds of flywheel, uh, maybe more that's gonna be coming down on top of you. I'm not quite for sure how it's gonna work yet, but uh, I'm hoping for the best. Shouldn't be too big of a deal, but good luck with it. I hope this video helps somebody.